Gordon was resting in a siding. It was a hot day, and the express had been heavy. I get so out of breath, he complained, but nobody cares. They just say I'll be alright after a rest. Get the fat controller to give you tanks in a bunker, suggested Thomas cheekily. You'll feel like a new engine. We tank engines never get out of breath, you know. Perhaps it was lucky for Thomas that poor Gordon hadn't the energy to make any reply. The workmen tried to fix Gordon, but they couldn't make him better. You need new tubes, Gordon, they said. You'll have to go to the works to have them fitted. While Gordon was being mended, Henry pulled the express. But one morning, just before Gordon was due back, Henry was ill too. With no spare engine except Thomas, the inspector told Sir Thomas that. But he can't pull the train on his own. Could Percy help? asked the fat controller. The inspector shook his head. The two of them with Duck might manage, he suggested. It's only as far as the works. They're sure to have a spare engine there. So the three tank engines were coupled together. Thomas nearest to the train, Duck in the middle, and Percy at the front. Slowly, they started. Come on, come on, fussed Percy importantly. We're doing it, we're doing it, puffed Duck. Pull harder, pull harder, grumbled Thomas to the others. The heavy train drew out of the platform. The engines couldn't go as fast as Gordon, but the passengers didn't mind. They knew that Percy, Thomas, and Duck were doing their best. The express was nothing like Thomas, Duck, or Percy had ever pulled before. They weren't allowed to stop at all the little stations, and the engines didn't have a chance to get their breath back. Soon, they began to feel tired. The cavalcade slowly approached Gordon's Hill and with all their might, they gave a mighty push to reach the top. We're doing it, we're doing it, Thomas said. Come on, come on, Percy whimpered. They soon reached the top and found themselves gliding down the hill. I'm glad we didn't stick there, Thomas said. Gordon would never have let us hear the end of it. But the hill proved too much for Percy. He blew his whistle, and the train came to a stop. What's going on up there? Thomas asked. I can't take it anymore. It's too much. Well, we can't take you off now, his driver said. Do the best you can to keep your brakes off. It's not that far. This made things harder for the other two, but they struggled on. Pushing Percy combined with the weight of the train was taxing on them. I can't do it. I can't do it, Duck said. Yes, you can. We must. Thomas encouraged. The two engines worked gallantly. We're nearly there! We're nearly there! Huffed Thomas and Duck together as they summoned the last brave effort. Poor Percy had no steam left to say anything at all. They were just passing the works when Duck found he could go no further. Thomas couldn't pull the train by himself, and the cavalcade came to a complete standstill, a few yards short of the station platform. And there, watching from the works site, stood Gordon. The fat controller, who had been on the train, told the three engines he was proud of them. You did very well to get so far, he said, and now you deserve a rest. Duck, Percy, and Thomas were uncoupled, and a new engine took their place. As the tank engines moved wearily away, Gordon looked at Thomas and smiled. Then he took three deep breaths and winked. He didn't need to say anything. Thomas knew exactly what he meant. <laughs>